When it comes to NBA records, it's pretty significant when one gets broken, especially the big ones. But what about the records that rarely even cross our minds? That is, if we even know they exist to begin with. Here are some NBA records that they surprisingly keep track of, like the fewest amount of points a team has ever scored in a single quarter. And we actually have a tie here between the Mavs and Warriors, who both scored just two points in a quarter before. The Warriors' cold night happened back in 2004 against the Raptors. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any footage of the game, but as you can see here, Toronto outscored the Warriors 18-2 in the fourth quarter to force overtime, with the Raptors ultimately walking away with the victory. Now, we actually do have footage of when the Mavericks only scored two points in a quarter. It was April 6, 1997 versus the Lakers. Dallas actually had a pretty decent lead at the start of the third quarter, but that lead would soon disappear as Dallas couldn't seem to hit a shot, taking free throws to finally get their first points of the quarter. There is their first point. Their first point of the quarter comes after 10 minutes and 9 seconds. Once again, those were literally the only points they scored that quarter. The Clippers managed to only score three points in a quarter one time. I want you to remember the score at the end of the first quarter. The Clippers had 16, but at halftime, as you can see, their score only jumped up three points. The Nuggets have a five-point quarter under their belt. On November 28th, 2015, the Nuggets led by four to start the third quarter, but by the end of the quarter, Denver had scored just five points while the Mavs pulled away, with plays like this summing up Denver's quarter. And unfortunately, as a Blazers fan, Portland only put up 6 points in a quarter back in 2017. The game was tied at 29 after the first, but a pathetic 6 point second quarter by Portland put the game out of reach. Blazers are 0 for 9 and haven't hit a field goal in 9 minutes. Man, what happened? And it wouldn't be until 5 seconds left in the quarter when they would finally score. This is rebound volley. Turner comes up with it, scores it with 5 seconds left. First field goal of the quarter for the Blazers. They did hit a few free throws during the quarter, which is what saved them from having the all-time record. We thought it was going to be a shootout. Both clubs over 50% in the first quarter. What happened in the second? Blazers go 1 of 17 from the field. They score six points which is not an all-time low, but it is the lowest second quarter they've ever experienced in franchise history. But hey, at least it's not as bad as walking away with zero points, which was the unfortunate reality for Tim Hardaway on December 27th, 1991. Hardaway holds the record for the worst single-game shooting performance in NBA history, missing all 17 shots he took in a game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm gonna frame this box score. I had to get an NBA record somehow. I was never 0 for at any level. What can I say? Hardaway said while laughing to reporters. You know, I went 0 for 19, you know, in the game. But... We won the game. See, we beat Minnesota. Right, I guess it's the, the NBA record for the worst single yeah. game shooting performance ever in the yeah. history of the NBA. I, hey, I shot Don't over matter. 19. We won the game. It's over with. Bubba Wells, on the other hand, did fill up the stat sheet, just not in a category that players usually gun for. On December 29th, 1997, Wells set the all-time NBA record for fewest minutes played before fouling out of a game. It only took him three minutes of playing time for him to pick up six fouls, two minutes and 43 seconds of playing time to be exact. But it was actually Dallas's head coach Don Nelson who was the mastermind behind it all. He used Wells to purposely foul Dennis Rodman, who was known as a poor free throw shooter, hoping to slow down the pace of the game and disrupt the Bulls' overall rhythm. The announcers had a hard time wrapping their heads around what they were witnessing. <laughs> they do not understand what... Did anybody understand what's going on here? Look in the rule book. Then they eventually started to get the hint. There's Bubba. It, it definitely came out, his job is to foul Dennis and put him at the line, see if they can get back in this game. The plan, however, backfired on the Mavericks as Rodman went on to make nine out of the 12 free throws, helping the Bulls get the win. But at least Bubba Wells was able to etch his name in the NBA record book. That is an NBA record. NBA record. The quickest foul out. Although it was a relatively short night for him, only playing a whopping three minutes in all, at least it's better than only playing for three seconds. And I'm not just talking about for one game. James on Curry is infamous for having the shortest career in NBA history. And I mean an extremely short career, with just 3.9 seconds of playing time. On January 25th, 2010, Clippers at Boston, he would make his NBA debut after being called up from the D-League. He was subbed into the game at the tail end of the third quarter, again with just 3.9 seconds left on the clock. And with 3.9 seconds left in the third quarter, Curry substituted for Chris Kamen, 
which marked Curry's first ever appearance in an NBA regular season game. But sadly, that was it for him, not only for the night, but for his NBA career, as he was released by the Clippers shortly after. Hey, at least he got his 15 minutes of fame. Well, you know what I mean. Speaking of something being the shortest ever, here is the shortest three-pointer in NBA history. And I say three-pointer because although it's clearly not, it was counted as one, with the referee raising his arms, indicating a three-point field goal. Watch where the shot is taken, Ayan. Damian Lillard is well inside the arc. Right. And Benny Adams raised the arm. They gave him three points on that jump shot. They missed their window. To review it. As you just heard, they didn't review it in time, so the three points had to stand. It still baffles me how none of the officials caught it, but fortunately, it didn't end up having an effect on the final outcome of the game, as the Nets were still able to win. When Dame's career is all said and done, we gotta make sure to keep this in mind. Let's go from the shortest three-pointer ever made to the fastest three-pointer ever made, which is undoubtedly this one made by Buddy Heald not too long ago. Court matches up uh, Donovan Mitchell and, and Garland, Darius Garland, right from the top. Wow! Look at Buddy Heald! The ball went through the hoop with 11.57 remaining in the first quarter. The game literally just started. And the fact that Miles Turner was credited with an assist coming from the opening tip-off shows how quick it really was. Funny enough, the previous record was also held by an Indiana Pacer, Reggie Miller, who made one just four seconds into a game against Golden State on March 5th, 2000. Friday night to the Lakers while the Warriors were handled their largest loss of the season. A 34-point loss to Denver on Friday night. Reggie Miller is free right off the opening tip. Now, what about the quickest ejection that has ever been handed out into a game? Well, look no further than Greg Popovich, who somehow managed to get himself ejected just 63 seconds into a game. And he is thrown out of the game one minute, three seconds in. The record was previously held by Don Nelson, who got ejected only 93 seconds into a game back in 2004. God, without a whistle. We got a game that's a minute and a half old. One minute and a half old, and now he's been trumped <laughs> Now, when it comes to players, we have the time when Isaiah Thomas was tossed out of a game in early 2020 after shoving a referee at the 10:32 mark of the first quarter. Thomas, what is this? Did Ejected? But Rashid Wallace takes the cake. On December 2nd, 2012, in a game versus the Phoenix Suns, he got thrown out after, of course, screaming, Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. That's when you always yell. I don't know why he received a second technical for that. Rashid's 1 minute and 25 seconds of playing time is the quickest it ever took for a player to get ejected from an NBA game. Continuing with things being the fastest ever, if I had to bet, I would say that this is probably the fastest interview in NBA history. I mean, the title says so, and when you watch it, it's hard to disagree. Hi, I'm Max Flower. I'm here with Adam Morrison, and he's going to tell us about his secrets to success. Adam? Uh, just working hard and, uh, you know, doing the right things every day. Well, Adam, thank you for your time, and I wish you the best of luck. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Adam. The quickest technical foul following one's first ever career basket. Lou Williams last year in a Philadelphia uniform crushed the Warriors. Draymond Green, his first NBA basket. And it's a three, and he gets a taunting technical after he makes the shot. <laughs> He will not forget his first NBA bucket. I don't even think they keep track of stuff like this because it's a very specific situation with very specific circumstances that would have to line up. But if they do, I wouldn't be surprised if the record belonged to Draymond. And lastly, let's take a look at the longest shot ever recorded in NBA history. Surprisingly, there's actually quite a few contenders, more than you would think. Well, you don't want to go down, down 30 if you can avoid it. At the buzzer! Oh, he made it! Jay Crowder would have had the longest shot in NBA history had it actually counted. Unfortunately, he was out of bounds because it was supposed to be a pass anyways. Zaire Williams made a pretty good case for himself about a year ago. Zaire Williams has it and will throw it the length of the court. Oh! It breaks it in! It breaks it in! It's a good three-point make by Zaire Williams! 
but I believe the title still belongs to Baron Davis. You got the record for the longest shot in the NBA. I called it, I told my teammate I was gonna make it, just throw me the ball. Mashburn, who could run the baseline, Davis already counted on a shot attempt. Oh! oh it's gotta go! That no count it. It's good! Baron Davis has just fought it in from 92 feet away.